Back by popular demand, we have him every Friday to shed some light on the college football weekend. Please welcome Dr. Lou. Dr. Lou, Dr. Lou, Dr. Lou, Dr. Lou, Dr. Lou, the doctor will see you now. Dr. Lou, welcome back to Rick and Bubba. Well, thank you, Rick. It's, <laughs> it's great to be back here. And, and Rick, it, it's great to see you back in studio to cap off the longest week in Rick and Bubba history. <laughs> I, I know, Rick. I know. I thought that one was pretty good when I wrote it as well. Rick, in all honesty, we've been missing you this past week or two. I, I know they probably had y'all doped up on painkillers, but I got to ask, Rick, what have you been doing for these past six, seven, ten days? I come out here on sixth day. Come out here seventh day. Don't want to talk about ten day. Well, that, that's, that's really great, Rick. Guys, I also want to congratulate Triple H, Hothead Helms, and his wife Amanda on their beautiful baby, Madeline Reese. Guys, we're, we're really excited about this. Uh, Amanda, I have a pair of baby pajamas that I want to give you all when I see you next. And you might want to get Helms a pair. Oh. <laughs> well, well, okay. I, I'll, try to see if, I'll, tr- I'll try to see if they carry those same pajamas in Helms' size, Rick. Man, Rick, you're out of control yeah, today. I hope he don't get off the script or it's really going to be funny. <laughs> Thank you, Rick. Well, well, guys, I know, uh, it's good stuff. well, guys, I know this weekend is shaping up to be a pretty big weekend across the country, but there's just no way I can go on without recapping this last week's craziness. Guys, before we do that, do y'all want to hear a little joke? Yeah. yeah. All, right, all right, here we go. What has 22 arms and can't hold on to anything? Uh, I think I know the answer, but I'm going to let you give the line. Auburn's defense. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> Rick didn't have to laugh that much. Man, <laughs> man, Rick, you're, you're really give, Man, Rick, you're really giving me more than I expected there. <laughs> since you're since you're enjoying this so much, I think I'll give you another one. Okay. Here you go, Rick. What did what did the football say to the punter? What's that? I get a kick out of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> Guys, last weekend was pretty nice. Speedy, Bubba, Greg, it was pretty nice in the world of college football, and it's clear to me that after three weeks, there's no doubt that Auburn will be playing Kentucky in Atlanta for the SEC Championship. <laughs> <laughs> Man, Rick. Really? Wow, Rick's on fire. Rick is <laughs> I'm absolutely owning Rick today. Hey, he sounds like he's feeling better. Yeah, yeah he does. He saw that food. Yeah, he's he ain't hungry. Up. I'll tell you that. And speaking of Auburn, <laughs> did you know the last time an Auburn quarterback threw a touchdown was in their game versus Ole Miss, which was last October? Did you know that, guys? Did not no. Know that. Did you know that? Did not no. Know. <laughs> <laughs> He thinks everything's funny today. Good night, look at that. Wow, wow. Wow, Rick, that, uh, that, that definitely calls for an Asian good night, look at that. Can you give me that again real fast? Can you? Good night, look at that. Well, thank you, Rick. But Rick and Bubba, that's enough about Auburn. That's enough about Auburn okay. because there are some major issues with the team over in Tuscaloosa as well, Ooh. like whether their third string can make its way back into the top five of the BCS standings. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, God. oh, boy. That's good stuff. Oh, good stuff. oh, join me, Rick. That is good stuff. That was a dismantling last oh, week, wasn't stuff. it? <laughs> oh, it was a dismantling. I'll tell you what. And speaking of the BCS standings, how about the fall from glory for the for the old USC Trojans? Mm, mm. The Stanford Cardinals took the Surfer Boys to school and and left USC head coach <laughs> Lane Kiffin. <laughs> wow, well, Rick, you're getting well, ahead there. Well, Rick. He just, he's on. a big fan of yours. Yeah, left left <laughs> left Lane Kiffin with his feelings hurt. And guys, I'm sure you saw it this past week, but yeah. but he abruptly walked out on their press conference after Absolutely. being indirectly asked about an injury. Greg, you saw you saw mm-hmm. that. I'm sure you all you guys saw that. Mm-hmm. But uh, but guys, I caught up with Lane Kiffin to find out the real reason why he left the press conference Ooh. so quickly earlier this week. Because people thought it was because of the injury, but actually I caught up with him and he looked me dead in the eyes and he said, Lou, 
Have you ever pooped your pants in a press conference? <laughs> 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 oh, man. I didn't see that one coming. <laughs> Did you really not, Rick? <laughs> so I didn't see that one coming. Oh, man, that's crazy. I thought you would have. <laughs> you, go that, ahead, you go ahead and eat, Greg. I am. Guys, it wasn't. Rick's covering me. I'm laughing. <laughs> and, guys, it wasn't just a tough week for Lane Kiffin. It turns out that former Texas Longhorn quarterback Vince Young has, has gone completely bankrupt. Yeah. Have you seen this yes. guy's yeah. yeah. spending? We talked oh, about Spending outlandish amounts of money on, of all things, food. <laughs> young, young spent young spent between five thousand, ten thousand dollars a week at Cheesecake Factory and DJ Alfredo's. Now, guys, I don't know what you're ordering, <laughs> what you're ordering at those restaurants to rack up that kind of bill. But I went back and found the surveillance tapes. I Ooh. went back and oh, found the surveillance man. tapes Ooh. to find out what was going on here. And everywhere he went, there was an overweight man wearing khakis and a blue Kansas Jayhawks t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. I heard he, I heard he went in the nightclub boom. business with Stephen Davis. Yep, yeah, give me more he boom. sure did. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. <laughs> give me more boom. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. <laughs> give me more boom. <laughs> oh, boom. <laughs> I think he's boomed out, Rick. Boom, boom, boom. That's enough, Rick. Okay. In all seriousness, guys. <laughs> in all seriousness, guys. <laughs> Vince Vince wanted me to issue this on air apology uh, to his girlfriend, his girlfriend Tamika. Okay. Uh, I'm, he he was sorry about Tameka. going bankrupt. Yes, and Tamika he wanted to <laughs> he wanted to to give an on air apology to Tamika. He says, and I'm just gonna read this verbatim. Tamika, baby, I'm so sorry. I just can't get enough of that dark chocolate cheesecake. <laughs> but you know you know how much I love you. Would you please forgive me? <laughs> okay. <good. laughs> He's got all kinds of stuff. That was a lot of editing this week. <laughs> There's, I'm telling you guys. Poor Rob learning to keep. Hey, Tamika, what you gonna do? <laughs> I hope Rick's laughing right now. <laughs> oh my goodness, he's probably eating. All right, that's right. And and while we're talking Texas Longhorns, how about their trip down to Dixieland to play the Ole Miss Rebel mm, Rebels last mm, week? Mm, yeah, yeah, that's right, guys. Mm. Played played. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, that's right, Rick. Play, they played the Ole Miss Rebels. Did you see? Did you see that streak, of Rick? <laughs> oh man, that one as funny as I thought it would be. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Was that Greg? That was, that was a pretty good boom, right? How you there. like that? He finished boom. breakfast. Yeah, I'm still eating. And Speedy. How about your Bulldogs sitting at 3-0 and this week? Mm. Rick, you think the Bulldogs should beat South Alabama and remain undefeated? <laughs> wow, Rick, you just call it, <laughs> you're calling the dogs there, Rick? Help, 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 help. <laughs> Can I get that bark one more time, Rick? <laughs> something, to, <laughs> something, something to finish this segment up here. <laughs> we have lost control. <laughs> And spe- speaking of undefeated, I, prom- there, coach. I promise I'm almost done here, guys. It's been oh, great, a great segment. <laughs> and speaking of undefeated, the LSU Tigers are traveling back to, to play the Auburn Tigers yeah. uh, down on down the plains this weekend. And I don't know if you guys heard, but earlier this week, Baton Rouge police received word of a bomb threat mm. on, on campus. A very scary situation, actually. Uh, they quickly involved the FBI and found out the bomb threat was traced back to a cell phone in the 334 area code mm. owned by Kyle Frazier. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is- Thanks, Rick. I need some more. I need some more from you, Rick. Oh, I need a lot more. How long we got till break? <laughs> About 30 seconds. All right, well, let's just fill it up with Rick laughs. Come on. <laughs> let's fill it up. Come on, Coach fill it Lou, up. Coach uh, a great segment. <laughs> and and we certainly appreciate Rick being here <laughs> yeah. to help us out with I know. I know. Thank, thank Virtual you, Rick. I figure we might as well make the most of this because I tell you what, we're going to run out of quick quick out of jokes, college football. The rest of this, but you come back, just, 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 man, we'll talk about college football. We'll talk about the matchups this weekend. It's a big we'll just talk about. <laughs> Good gracious. Well put, Coach Lou. I couldn't have said it better myself.